Wait, what's my name again? Say my name. What is my name? Hi, my name is... My name is... My name is... My name is Jeff. I had a ton of names and nicknames since I was a kid. And why? Probably because I'm coming from a divorced family and with changing my name I only wanted to comfort myself by creating a new personality with each nickname. Or simply because my name is Boton Revis. Boton Revis. Bonton Revis. Throughout the years I had so many nicknames just because I wanted to be cooler or just because of traveling. For example, I used to be Panko during my punker period and I changed this really quick, I think within two days, when I realized that Panko in Hungarian means donut and it would be pretty, pretty funny to go to someone and say, hi, my name is Donut. Now I'm an adult and I'm still making mistakes like this. To simplify my Hungarian name, first I used the nickname for it, Boti. But then people called me Body, Bodhi. Booty, Boaty. This was still not acceptable for me, so I reorganized the letters into Toby. And this is the story why I was called like my mom's boyfriend's dog. Or this is the story why I got a sock from my coworker saying, Hey Toby, I set you free. But this whole thing eventually stopped after I started vlogging and I gave an interview to the Hungarian TV from San Francisco. Because even though I started every single vlog with my name and in America, when he was talking about me, he called me multiple times Sekai Boti Sekai Boti? Sekai I wasn't actually mad about this Because I got an idea I just simply took this name and did what Louis CK did Because Louis CK's real name is Sekai Now that we're getting closer to my new channel name You remember when my channel was called the American Goulash? Yeah, we all know that this is the national dish of Hungary But then I realized that Goulash means Well, Goulash means anal in America So I had to change it and after rocking the CK2 rule name for more than a year, today I'm changing that too. So let me start reasoning this change and let me tell you what I learned through my previous experiences. The most common channel name is your first and last name, like Casey Neistat, Gary Vaynerchuk, Peter McKinnon. And however two of these are rocking a pretty unusual last name, the audience can still realize that we're talking about people. Casey, Gary. Now I wish I could have done this, but Boton Revis will not tell the audience anything. Now everybody knows brand names that just make no sense, but throughout the years they got famous and now you recognize for example Nike or Adidas anywhere. Now if you started long enough on YouTube, you were able to use a name like PewDiePie or MKBHD, but if you're just a small fish right now, try to include your niche into your channel name. And to be more personal, you can do whatever I gonna do to combine the name with the niche. Something like Tural Media or to rule media or budget media or to rule films? It's pretty hard. Let me interrupt this video for a second. In this video I'm not serving the answers with clarity. I only shared you the examples of what I did wrong and what you should do. But to make sure that you're leaving this video fulfilled and not with a dislike, here's a list that will help you to choose your name. First of all, don't rush with your name. You can always change it. But still, keep it short, no numbers, avoid profanity, vulgarity, and also check Urban Dictionary and Google for hidden meanings. Make sure that the name is catchy, but also reflects the path and the niche of your channel. Make it easy to spell or pronounce, make sure the name is available on all social medias, and it's not copyrighted. Now let's get back to that conclusion. It's pretty hard. I sent out some of my options to my closest friends and nobody really wanted to pick the one that I'm going with. So for this reason, I might even change this name within a year. But since I already started the branding around the name Turu, which is the mythological bird of prey in Hungarian tradition, I'll keep rocking it and I'll add films. So it's Turu Films. And yes, I'm still questioning myself and I'm still confused because I shouldn't really build a brand around a word that is it's hard to pronounce for English speakers, but we'll see. So if you already invested this much time into watching this video, please let me know what's your opinion. Turu Films. Let me know in the comment section below, please. And if you guys think this video was good, please subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.